To say that I'm excited to finally unbox this and show you guys is nothing short of an understatement. I'm sure all of you know about the drop that Golf LaFleur had recently where Tyler did another collab with Jenny's Ice Cream and it was very expensive, but I did decide to pick some up because I really love the last flavor and I was really excited to try this one. Now this video is gonna be shot a little different. So instead of being sitting in front of my desk, I'm gonna try to film this outside because it's actually like a very big box. And I don't think it'll be as great of an experience if I film it here. So I'm gonna try to film this outside, but yeah, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So here we are on my back porch. I don't think I've ever filmed a video out here, but this really is just a massive box and the weather's like right out today. So I figured why not unbox it outside. And as you can see, we have the Jenny's ice cream box here. And I did get the Tyler pack. On the Jenny's website, you can mix and match any ice cream. You just have to have four pints to get them to actually ship it to you. So I couldn't just order the Pluto Blue ice cream and try it. I had to order four different pints. And I was gonna order my own pints because I love Jenny's ice cream, but I was kind of having a difficult time figuring out which pints to order. So I figured I might as well go ahead and pick up the four flavors that Tyler really enjoyed. So getting straight into this box, we have the first thing you see when you open up the box is this Pluto Blue LaFleur. And on the back, it says, went to the depths of space to harvest the fruit of this robust flavor. The name stems from what I figured Lian Font Samba, no idea how to say that, by Cortex would sound like. Don't stain your shirt, message by Tyler. And then we've got this sheet, which I think is just something that comes with all Jenny's deliveries. I've never ordered from them before, but it just kind of looks like a little ad or something. We don't need that. And then it is shipped in this styrofoam container, which I assume is to keep the cold in there because they actually ship this in dry ice and we have a fairly heavy slab of dry ice sitting on the top of the ice cream and it's freezing cold like even through this cardboard it's freezing cold it says this is negative 109 degrees fahrenheit which is ridiculous so it says here on the box that you need to leave this out of reach of like pets or whatever and let it melt into a gas and that the ice creams are frozen solid and i have to thaw them for two hours in my freezer before i can actually eat them and now getting straight into the ice cream we got three different flavors and the pluto blue ice cream and i don't know if it's picking this up on camera but it's so cold in the box that it's actually smoking inside which is crazy and the flavors this ice cream got shipped with is this brown butter almond brittle which is described as brown butter almond candy crushed into buttercream ice cream wow that sounds ridiculous and the next flavor we have is the gooey butter cake and i'm not sure if you did see my last video where i was talking about the drop with golf and jenny's I actually went out to los angeles right after the first snowflake drop it was when can't flog not 2019 happened and i actually went to a jenny store in person and i tried a gooey butter cake and cream puff ice cream because those were the ice creams that got shipped in the first collection with jenny's in the snowflake bundle and they did not include the cream puff but they did include the gooey butter cake and this flavor is described as cream cheese ice cream layered with crumbles of vanilla cake and a swirl of caramel butterscotch sauce and like i said i did try both of these ice creams and in my last video i said i wasn't really a fan of one of the ice creams i may have actually accidentally said gooey butter cake but I meant cream puff because this is the ice cream that I was thinking about. I personally love cream cheese and when I heard cream cheese I just thought cream puff but this is actually the ice cream flavor I was talking about that I really really love. So moving on to the next flavor we have Savannah Buttermint which is yet another flavor I haven't had from Jenny's and I have seen a lot of people who already received their bundles saying that this tastes a lot like the snowflake ice cream and reading the description it says a buttery after dinner mint ice cream with white chocolate flakes which sounds uh, almost exactly Exactly like the snowflake ice cream and I really hope that's true because like I said absolutely love snowflakes so I'm really excited to try this one as well and finishing out the flavors we have the star of the show the brand new flavor between Tyler and Jenny's Pluto blue this ice cream is described as an electric orange with a bolt of blue and I've seen a lot of people describing once again that already received their bundles saying this tastes a lot like those old classic push pop um, ice creams you used to get like from ice cream truck or whatever and uh, if that's true then I'm absolutely gonna love this ice cream because that's a very nostalgic flavor for me i really love uh like blue raspberry-ish flavors and orange flavors so seeing them together will be very interesting and i'm really excited to try what this ice cream tastes like and that's everything that came in the box guys i'm gonna go ahead and put these in 
my freezer to let them thaw out so I can get a taste test going for you guys. So I'm gonna put these in my freezer for the recommended two hours and I will see you guys then. What's going on guys? So as you can see, we are back outside and this time I'm wearing sunglasses because it is ridiculously bright out here. But we're back outside, we've waited the two hours and it's time to give each of these flavors a taste test. And in this bowl, we have the Savannah Butter Mint and Brown Almond Butter Brittle. And the first flavor I'm gonna go ahead and taste is this gooey butter cake because I've had it before. So I kind of know what I'm in store here for this one. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get this one out of the way. Wow, the flavor on that one is so good. If you're a fan of cream cheese and cake, you are gonna absolutely love this flavor. I tried this flavor when I was out in Los Angeles and it was my favorite then. It's caramel with the butterscotch and the cream cheese. It just goes perfectly together. And all the flavors that you have going on in your mouth is just ridiculous. Crazy good flavor on that one. Moving on here to the brown almond butter brittle. Getting a taste of this one here. Wow, I like that a lot better than I thought I was going to. I don't traditionally like almond butter and stuff like that, so I wasn't really expecting myself to like that, but I actually did really enjoy that. I talked about it in my last video, but every flavor I have from Jenny's, I like it more than other flavors I would traditionally enjoy. So just for example, I'm not usually a fan of almond butter, but just trying it in this ice cream, they really did it right, and I'm still not crazy about it just because personally I don't like almond, but it still is a really nice flavor and probably is the best almond butter flavored anything I've ever had before. Coming up next, we have the Savannah Butter Mint, which is what I was very excited to try because it's what a lot of people said tasted like the snowflake ice cream from the last collab that they did. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Mm, mm -hmm. Yep, this is pretty much the same exact flavor of Snowflake. I pretty much begged for this ice cream to get restocked in this pack, and that's pretty much what this ice cream is. It's just not branded as Snowflake. It looks a little different, like this one is more of a cream color, where if you saw the Snowflake, the Snowflake was more of a, a green. But the flavor of it is almost exact. I won't even say almost exact, this pretty much is Snowflake. Wow, that is so good. Well, all these flavors have been really good so far, but it is time to try the main event. The Brand new collab, Pluto Blue Ice Cream, first taste test. It definitely tastes like a push pop. I'm definitely picking that up. It's really good though. It's really good. I will say that I wish the orange was a little bit more prominent. You get a lot of a blue raspberry and just a little bit of that orange. Tasting it personally, it says it has a bolt of blue, but I would definitely say this is more of a blue raspberry ice cream with a little hint of orange. Or it may just be the specific pint because I know there's imperfections in ice cream. There's no way to get it exact to like 50-50 or, or, you know, ratioed exactly how you want. But just this personal pint that I have here, I'm getting a lot more of the blue raspberry than I am of the orange. In a weird way, it reminds me kind of of like a sherbet flavor in a weird way but yeah still really good really really good getting a lot more blue raspberry i thought i was going to be getting some more orange flavor in there but if you're a fan of blue raspberry ice cream i would say you'll probably like this so if i could put these in order having number one be over here and the last spot be over here i would say the savannah butter mint which is snowflake is definitely my favorite flavor followed by the gooey butter cake and then i would put pluto blue in third place followed out by the brown almond brittle like i said this tastes exactly like snowflake so if you did miss out on that initial drop definitely pick up a pint of this and give it a try i'm so so happy they included this flavor it really is delicious it's probably my favorite ice cream that i've ever had and this one right here is a very close second because i love cream cheese i love vanilla cake and then the caramel going out through the pine is just ridiculous i mean the flavor combination of that really is delicious i would say it's it's very close to being a tie for first between these two but i would have to give the edge to the savannah butter mint and the reason i put this pluto blue ice cream cream in third place is it was really nothing groundbreaking for me. I thought it was a very good flavor. It's definitely a delicious ice cream, but it's nothing that if it didn't have the LaFleur branding on it that I would pay $12 for. Like if I was in a little, you know, mom and pop ice cream shop and was getting some cheap ice cream, I would probably pick this up. But as far as ice creams that I'm actually going to pay the $12 a pint for, I think these two would probably be the only ones that I would go for. And like I said, the Savannah Butter Mint, which I'm pretty much just going to call Snowflake, was like a groundbreaking flavor to me. I had never like in my life had anything like it. I've obviously had mint chocolate chip before, but never the combination that Jenny and Tyler did with this specific flavor. It was just delicious. I mean, same thing with the gooey butter cake. Really amazing, awesome flavor. And if you love cream cheese, you're going to absolutely love it. I mean, these are some very unique ice cream flavors 
this year. And I know it's ridiculously expensive, but I would definitely see myself paying that $12 a pint for this just because of how good it is. Can't say the same for these two. This is definitely a very delicious flavor. But like I said, I'm just not crazy about almond butter or like almond candy or anything like that. It's just not my personal flavor. But if you are a fan of that flavor, then you'll definitely like this as well. Overall, I would say both of these flavors right here are like very close. I would almost put them at a 10 out of 10. The Pluto Blue, I would probably give it about an 8 just because it's nothing groundbreaking. Still a really good flavor. And for this brown butter almond brittle, I would probably give it about a 6 just for my personal opinion. Overall, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Very delicious flavor here. Very delicious flavors on all these. I know it was a lot of money, but I'm definitely satisfied with the pack I decided to finally pick up. But that'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this pack if you decide to pick some up. And if you didn't, let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. I would love to hear your opinion. If you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and sure content coming moving forward. That'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out, and I will see you in the next one.